My name is uh, François, I'm the corporate pastry chef for Cuisine uh, Food Specialty. Today we're here at the Cuisine Institute and we're going to try to uh, give you a little overview of the Pomati Temple machine. Uh, our model is the T20. So Pomati has been around since 1967 and they experience combined with modern technology. They have a great number of innovative elements, completely built out of stainless steel, uh, the system of the Archimedean screw, controlled by a refrigerating group, allows quick tampering. In less than 20 minutes, you can go from the 44 degrees, which is the melting point, to quickly temper your chocolate to 31 degrees. And the process, as I said, takes about 20 minutes. All the controls are being uh, made with uh, thermoregulators. Uh, the, the tank, for instance, inside, which is this one, uh, the cavity tank uses uh, diathermic oil instead of water, so it's a better heat conductor, lower electric electricity use. Uh, I'm going to pull the machine a little bit to show you the Archimedean screw, which is behind, which comes from the back here. If we would take that panel, and when you get the, the machine or the instruction, you'll see the, the screw who comes all the way down here. Uh, this is how you would out, flush out your chocolate, change your chocolates from dark to white, or even clean your machine in between chocolates. So now, right now we're having the machine, we're going to go through uh, the few controls on the side here. Okay, so on that side of the machine you have some uh, controls, the emergency stop obviously, like any machine would have, in case of something happens you can always activate that button. Then uh, below, we're going to have uh, the Archimedean screw command. So right here you see it's activated anti-clockwise in order to be able to have the flow of the chocolate coming back through this pipe here. Once you want to uh, take out the chocolate from the tank, you would put it back on the heat, obviously, and you utilize that button going clockwise in order to remove the chocolate from the back. So you would open the Archimedean screw in the back, turn this clockwise in order for the chocolate to come out, clean the machine, change your chocolate. Below, you have the coding carriage power supply selector. So this allows the carriage to function. You can see that little logo. It needs to be on in order to have the carriage control when you want to do uh, cut, cut out candies. And I'm going to show you what the carriage looks like in that way. You'll see what it means. So this is what also the machine could have if you want. If you want to do, you want to do a cut candies, this is the carriage right here. So the chocolate would come through that way under the flowing chocolate and coming out that way. Then this is the model connector cables. The black ones is the vibrating table motor cable control. And then the white ones is the heating cable connector. Uh, in order for the machine to function, to have the chocolate flowing, this table has to be on. It's basically controlled. There's a, a connector underneath that allows the machine to work properly. Without that table, the machine would not be able to function. So you have to have this table on it. The front panel is very uh, easy to use. Number one is the stop mixer. So this is the mixer. You can see it inside going. This is what allows the chocolate to circulate inside your tank. This control is for the inside tank control temperature that can be set up right here at the temperature that normally stays about 45 degrees. This one is simply for this part of the machine to maintain it warm in order for the chocolate to be able to flow. If off, you're going to have a, a crystallization of your chocolate on. So this, usually when you work the chocolate, this would be always on. Control right here is the setup of the chocolate flow coming out from that pump, activating by the pedal, you can actually choose how much chocolate comes out of the pump. So you can 
control by setting up the timer right here. This control is when you want to put it into tampering mode and to put on tampering mode, this is on a 46 degrees, you're just going to push that button. Automatically, the Archimedean screw is going to activate the tampering of the chocolate in about 20 Okay, so once you have made your molded chocolate, you can use this button in order to activate the vibrating table. For two seconds, you can see it's vibrating. And then the last part of the machine is about the, the carriage. And so you have the coding carriage command right here. And then the blowing command is right here. It's basically hooked up here. It's to take out the excess of chocolate when you have your cut candies. And then the last button is the, the cutting of the chocolate to avoid to have a little foot on the chocolate right here. So this one is the T20, can hold as much as 24 kilo, kilos of chocolate. I hope this will be helpful for you guys.